see, I'm just like you. Yeah, I know I'm a mess. Take a minute to think. Take an hour to dress. Got this pain in my neck. Came from staring at stars. I can't find the remote. Drink and drive in my car. Keep looking for love. Finding beautiful pain. It would be tough to, for us to agree with it if, you know what I'm saying? We're not approaching it that way. You know what I'm saying? People listen to your music and they make a decision based upon how they listen to music or their life for themselves and then they categorize you, you know. When we make music, we just make it, you know. And then it's kind of up to you to kind of figure out what you, what you get from it. So whatever your mic, spit your gang through it tight. You ain't promise daylight, so I'm stepping tonight. Not really because if anything that we would be doing, it would only be to show people what we've seen from other artists, you know, because we wouldn't be the first ones to exercise musical freedom or have um, putting a lot of emphasis on your instinct because a lot of musicians have done that in the past and influenced us to do it too. So I don't think we are opening the way, but maybe if we're doing anything, maybe showing some people that it's, it's possible through what we're doing, but we got it from other people too. We listen to everything, you know, whether it be Michael Jackson, you know, Depeche Mode, you know what I'm saying, every style of music. So it's tough to say what an influence is, and sometimes it's just the type of day you have, you know what I'm saying? You could have a sad day, and that puts you in a certain, you know, emotional feeling and state, and then you might express yourself musically that way. So it's tough to just narrow it down to, like, one thing. I wouldn't say it's a tribute, it's just a part of us, you know, it's something that just comes natural, you know, um, I was raised around the music and the culture, so it's just a part of it. The brothers say, the money say, tomorrow say. Not really, I mean, I look back on the, that era and I see it as a quote unquote golden era, meaning like, what happened to me was that there was a, a materialism that came into hip hop that kind of compromised the integrity of it in the later years. I mean, there's still good music being made, but the ideology, the ideological shift went from, you know, trying to be as original as possible mm -hmm. to really tossing originality out in order to pursue formulas because these formulas were the fastest way to achieve material things, which to me compromised the artistic aspect of it and also kind of diminished it and diluted it culturally. And yeah, it's a problem, but these things happen the older forms of music get. like. I'm sure people that like Led Zeppelin and stuff like that are turning over in their graves listening to some of the new rock and roll music too, you know, but that's just the way things go. I mean, there's still good music coming out. I mean, can't mention them all, but Danny Brown, The Satisfaction, uh, who else? Trouble. I like Badu. see it through from the concept to the finished product because it's another opportunity to you know like represent your instincts your inspirations and also come up with some ideas to like represent the music you know in a visual form like videos or art or anything like that so we think it's a big part of it it's important and we put a lot of effort and energy into it it's a feeling. It's a feeling. No, 
nah, not really, because like on the label, you got to, after you finish the album, you have to get on the schedule to get released. So until you finish it, you don't really know when it's going to come out. But it usually takes two or four months, two to four months for it to come out. So we're hoping to finish it in like uh, October, November. So, you know, we'll see what happens after that. Birds, I have to do it. The ship I came here on vanished. We automatic. Don't try to plan it. But yeah, just when it comes, handle it. Behind